It was a cold November evening. I was just doing my job completing some items in our DevOps pipeline. I was a developer back then, just building code day in and day out. We had a big deliverable for the end of the month and I was putting the finishing touches on the update. That was all before she walked in. We've discovered security vulnerabilities in your code, Bill, she said. I didn't know what to make of it. I went through our repos looking all over for the security risks she'd mentioned, but I couldn't make heads or tails of it. We were supposed to prioritize hygiene in our code, not just install components willy-nilly. At that moment, I knew this was going to be a long night. I decided to take my search to the web, hoping I could find some sort of tool that could help me find the security problems in our code. I was just beginning to think I'd hit a dead end, when finally, I saw it. I perchance happened upon a mysterious company called Sonatype. They had something called the Nexus Platform, which seemed to suggest it could help me find my mysterious vulnerable components. I read how they reduced developer remediation and rework time by 75%. I read how with this automated policy-driven tool developers are given the power to detect and remediate policy violations right at their fingertips. Then. I saw something that shocked me. It was integrated developer tools. A Chrome extension which notifies you if you visit the download page for a risky component. A repository manager which can manage repositories and block bad components from coming into your software project. And I saw source control management integrations which prevents risky components from entering a build and moving down the software pipeline. I saw IDE plugins which evaluate and visualize all components and their security status in your project as you develop. The IDE plugin also contained information regarding the version history and remediation path. The Sonatype plugin also contained some functionality to automatically update a component version to fix policy violations. This could even work with indirect transitive dependencies by using their transitive solver. I tested out some of their processes, taking a local project and evaluating it for security and license compliance. I went and checked the build report in the IQ server and was able to see a full report of all the components in my application. I could select any component and see more information on it as well as dive in and see the technical details curated by Sonatype's data research team. I could even go in and tailor their out-of-the-box policies to fit my organization as well as set actions for each policy in each stage of development. That meant I could trigger breaking changes if a policy violation was discovered later in the pipeline. I could even configure the system's response to any license it detects in a project. Lastly, I could see an overview of the hygiene of all of the components and applications in my whole organization. Before I knew it, the whole night had passed by, but I was enveloped in what I had learned. I heard footsteps coming toward me. I knew it was security coming to ask me how remediation was going. I still had questions, but I had to get out of there quick. I left the office and drove to North Carolina to where I thought I could find the mystery man who might have some answers for me. I knocked on the door of Amari Cupid and was surprised to get an answer. I asked the mystery man about how Nexus IQ easily integrates with my development environments and tools. I asked about the source control management system with automatic pull requests to upgrade software from vulnerable versions to secure ones. It felt like we were talking for hours. After all these questions, he looked me in the eye and said, it looks like Sonotype does everything you're looking for. They also have a data research team dedicated to eliminating noise from false positives and negatives by giving developers highly curated data. Sonatype also creates detailed vulnerability data to tell you how to fix a violation, as well as enforcing license governance using the policies. Customers have even said we know that the earlier we fix things, the less it costs. The difference is exponential. We can fix one line of code early versus hundreds of lines of code when found later in the cycle. I was shocked. I couldn't believe what he told me. I raced back to the office with each passing mile a reminder of something I knew deep within me. I knew that Nexus IQ was the best way for me to reduce my developer time spent on remediation and rework by 75%. 
I knew that Sonotype could help me improve my code quality early in the software development lifecycle by blocking risky components and finding them for me in my software applications. But most importantly, I knew the IQ server could help me configure, detect, and enforce compliance through my whole company. And that knowledge was all I needed to be sure that I had discovered the answer to this mystery. Thank you.